Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News, and I have the pleasure to be joined by well, a flyweight prospect contender after that performance, Hamza Udin. Hamza, successful six rounds against, I mean, a former English title uh, contender as well. Yeah, 100%, man. Good opponent. It's a good fight. Uh, enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the fight, and yeah, man, another win in the bag. Definitely, I mean, a comfortable six rounds, in my, in my opinion, against, I mean, a serious step up who no no prospect really fights at a level of that. We've still, we saw Cameron Vong fight Gavin Gwynn. Contentious decision, but in a few fights after, I mean, sort of the same level step up, really. But you cruise, you cruise the victory tonight. Yeah, man. Listen, I don't want to waste my time fighting journeymans and bums and, and, and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? I want to fight. I want to fight the best eventually. So if if I if I want to fight the best, I've got to build it up and I've got to be able to to win these type of fights where people are coming to to beat me. And and he did come to win. Let's be honest, he did come to win. But that was his downfall because he walked into every shot. Definitely too good tonight, Hamza. As well. I mean, when you're fighting someone like that in your third fight, I mean. T titles next or an eight rounder? How, how do you want to see your career move forward next? I'm not sure to be honest. Whatever the team say, really, I want it. But I do, I do want to have a belt around my waist next year. I don't know what belt that's going to be or what, what it could be, but I want a belt around my waist next year. I want to move up the rounds as well. Definitely get an eight rounder next or maybe a ten rounder. I don't know, but yeah, whatever the team says, man, I'm ready. Definitely. With the, with the rate that you're moving, a British title next year, especially in the flyweight division where the talent pool isn't as deep, definitely seems like a likely possibility as well. Yeah, it's very much a possibility, but um, at the end of the day, whatever the team says, really, I'm always in the gym. So you can't tell me you know, I'm not going to be in the gym. I'm always ready. Jan Feb, maybe. Get another, get another fight date in, and then who knows, man. I want to have as many fights as possible, even though you know, I, was, I was injured before this one and I had quite a bit of time. I've still managed to have three fights this year, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. They've not been mega busy, but it's been decent. So hopefully ne next year, Gonna be really busy. Definitely, mate. And you burst onto the scene and that with that massive knockout in Liverpool last year as well. But speaking of Liverpool, first fight with Swifty, Stephen Swifty Smith. How was that first fight? Obviously, first fight, first camp. How was all of that kind of combining together on fight night, mate? It was good, man. I enjoyed it. Swifty's, Swifty's quality, do you know what I mean? And obviously, um, he was in the corner with Callum, so I was with, with Callum, you know, Steve, uh, Stephen training, and it's good, man. He's good, and it was it was good first time, you know. You know, the first time's always the hardest. You know, you don't know how it's going to be or what's going to happen. But and with a, with a decent a decent step of an opponent as well. But we handled it well. We were quite composed. We done well. We we done most of what we said we would. A couple of things I didn't. And if I did, maybe I would have flattened him. But it's all right. First time. Definitely as well. I was speaking to Taylor Bevan and Connor Walker ahead of the ahead of the ahead of fight week this week, and they were both buzzing about Callum Smith, former world champion, being on the card. He was on first on, but. Obviously, you were in the cat in the uh, in the changing room with him. I mean, what, did you feel that same buzz with Callum Smith? I mean, one of the best fighters this country's produced of recent times, especially being around him, be training with him. It must have been a nice vibe 100%, in there. Hundred percent. Like even though, even when I see him now, I'm still starstruck. Like fucking Callum Smith. Do you know what I mean? Being on the same bill as Callum Smith, like he's, I don't know, and he's so knowledgeable about the game. You know, when you get to know him, like, he knows so much about the game. And you know, even after the fight, we were talking about what what I've done well and what I could have improved. And it's, just, like, it's a blessing to have these people around me. Do you know what I mean? With, when you got such good people around you, 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 you become your company, do you know what I mean? So hopefully I'm going to do what kind of Smith's done. For, for sure, I'm sure we'll see it sooner rather than later. Hamza, I'll leave you with the final words, mate. Any final words for the fans who came to watch your fight in Birmingham tonight? Thank you very much, man. Just thank you very much. I appreciate you coming down. Uh, thank you, Regan, for making your way down here as well. Thank you for watching me, man. Uh, yeah, man. Good 2024, but even better 2025. Hamza, Houdin, always a pleasure and, all, and always like watching your fights, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. My pleasure. Nice. Appreciate.